Hi everyone, happy Baby Day Monday. Thanks so much for being here. How are you all on this very, very miserable day, isn't it? So hopefully some baby names will cheer us all up. I'm SJ, I do a brand new baby name video here on YouTube every single Monday. So do subscribe if you want to hang around and hear lots more baby name videos. I'll link all my past ones below as well because there's a bit of a stash. <laughs> so today's video is a little bit different. I thought I'd do something a bit Fun, which is take a kind of popular name, some would say safe name, one that everybody likes um, and is one that you'll hear all the time, then do a more unique version of that name. So if you like that one, you want something a bit more unique, you can go for that, and then push it a little bit further again to a more daring version of the name. So it should be quite fun. I'm also gonna leave one blank for you guys to fill in, so do make sure to join in in the comments below. Every single week I read all of the comments and we chat loads about baby names and it's just good fun. I've got a friend roped into making this video as well. So I don't know if you follow a girl called Bex Massey here on YouTube. She's really, really lovely. She's got a little boy, Finley, and I've got a son called Finn, which is funny. And she does lots of baby name videos, and I always watch them. I love her name choices. They're quite similar to mine. So she's also doing this. Hi everyone, my name is Bex, and I'm so excited to be collaborating with SJ today. On my channel, you'll find a mix of parenting, lifestyle, and motherhood after infertility videos. I do videos on hacks, hauls, baby names and everything else in between really. So if those are the sorts of videos that you like then I would love to have you over on my channel so I do pop by and say hello. Right so let's go I'm doing three boy names three girl names I'll get boy girl boy girl and you'll get two options for each one. So there's 18 names in all. <laughs> it's a lot of chatting about names. So starting off with a name I absolutely love, which is the name James. James is gorgeous, isn't it? It's a number 12, it's a Hebrew name. It's been around for years. I'm sure it was super duper popular. I've got lots of friends my age called James and I hear it all the time chosen for babies who are born today. So it's a beautiful one. Obviously it's getting used for girls a tiny bit at the moment, but it's at number 12 for boys. So you may all love this name, but you may either worry it's too popular or someone's probably nabbed it. So how about taking a more unique version of this name, the name Jonas. I love Jonas, isn't it such a gorgeous name? It's got the same J, it's got the same S, but it's just much more unique. So Jonas is only at number 448, and it's also got a gorgeous meaning. It's another Hebrew name, but it means dove, which I think is gorgeous to have a bird meaning, and I just love the sound of the name. It sounds very international, doesn't it? But that's still too safe when you're looking for something even more unique, and you want to be a bit daring. How about the name Amos? Isn't that cool? I love it. I think it just sounds so modern. It sounds very today, but it's not being used. Only at number 681 a couple of years ago, so it's much more daring than the other two choices. It's not one that I've heard. He'd definitely be the only Amos in his classroom, I imagine. But it's a really trendy, funky name. And it means strong or brave. And I know a lot of you are looking for that type of a meaning for your baby boy. What do you think of Amos? So I couldn't do this list without picking the number one name for girls, which is Olivia. I love the name Olivia. It is quite unusual sounding, isn't it? It's got that O, it's got that strong V, but it's so popular. It's at number one. It's a female version of Oliver, which means elf warrior, but it also means olive branch. It's a Shakespearean name he used in Twelfth Night, one of the first times it was used and we all absolutely love it so chances are it's been napped so you can take it a little step further by going with this is actually an unranked name but it is the name Avalia it's so similar to Olivia I put it second but it sounds quite different it's not similar enough that people would probably think you were saying Olivia in my opinion Ovalia and it's a Greek name meaning help from most websites that I saw it's actually unranked it was used a few times in 2013 randomly enough but not since then so so if you're looking for something that's just that little bit more unique and different, then Ovalia could be absolutely beautiful for you. But if we're looking for something quite daring and quite out there, how about the name Olympia? Olympia is an absolutely gorgeous name, but it's only at number 1,472, so it is so far out. It is the feminine form of the Greek Olympias, which was the home, Mount Olympus was the home of the gods in Greek mythology. So it's a gorgeous one. It's got that very kind of stylish Greek gods edgy thing going for it, which seems really, really popular at the moment. And I just love it. I think it's a beautiful sounding girl's name, isn't it? And a really nice 
daring alternatives to Olivia. Next of boys is the name Henry. Henry is at number 15. It's super popular. It was one that everyone thought Kate and Will might choose for their next baby boy, who they've called Louis, because it is Prince Harry's name. Harry's wedding maybe made this even more popular this year. I love it. My husband is called Henrik, which is the Swedish version of it. And it means household, so it's a gorgeous one, very royal, very British. But if it's too popular for you, how about a similar name that's not so popular, but the name Percy? Percy is such a cool name. I literally think it is adorable. I know I've mentioned it in a baby name video before, which I couldn't remember which one, but I love it. I actually had this on my baby name list for Finn, and I just think it is the cutest sounding name, and it's not used enough. Got a bit of a confusing heritage, because many people say it comes from the surname Percival, uh, which is a cool first name, isn't it? Um, but apparently that means piercing the hedge, which is something about being a very good hunter, or a very successful hunter. Piercing the hedge is a very strange sounding meaning I must say but I absolutely love the name Percy and I don't think it's totally unusual I've heard it a bit I live in London and people are probably a bit more edgy with their names and I do hear Percy around now people are just starting to use it again what do you think but if you're going mega quirky and you want to be very daring you could go with Quincy Quincy is so cool it's got the Q at the beginning which makes it very very on trend and with Quinn becoming so popular then Quincy could be a great contender but it's not very popular it's only at 3000 2079 in terms of usage but like Henry it sounds kind of short strong sweet with that lovely Y ending it's not hard to spell or to understand which I think is going for it and it means the fifth so it's taken from the French it means fifth sounds very much like a sort of indie rock band type of guy doesn't it would you ever go with Quincy we've got a Finny Pops with us come we like the name Charlotte don't we because you know a lot of Lotties actually Finn's girlfriend is called Lottie Okay, so we have Charlotte is a very, very popular name. It's at number 12. Obviously, we have Princess Charlotte here in Britain, and Kate and Will made that name really popular again. And we have the nickname Lottie, which is also really highly ranked. So it may just be too popular for you, but you might also like the name then Clementine. That's a pretty name, isn't it? Yeah. You can get it with Teddy. The name Clementine, I absolutely love, and it's really getting its traction on like social media, Instagrammy name, isn't it? But it means mild or merciful which I think is a beautiful name meaning as well. It's very Christmassy because we like to have Clementines at Christmas. He's hungry. You're hungry talking about that. <laughs> He's given up. He's given up the ghost. He's over there. But yes, the name Cordelia. I really like the name Cordelia. You don't hear it very often. And it means daughter of the sea. Hello. Hello. Which is gorgeous, isn't it? It was one of King Lear's daughter's name. And I remember reading King Lear at school and it being one of his daughter's name and really liking it then. It sounds really bang on trend. It should be making a comeback very soon. Only at number 897 in terms of popularity, which quite surprises me because I think it is beautiful. Would you put Cordelia on your baby name list? Okay, he's back off again. Back off with the others. So for boys, the last one is actually my other son's name, which is the name Freddie. I love the name Freddie, of course, I've chosen it. It is getting more popular, it's at number 17 in terms of popularity. And it means peaceful ruler, which I think is really lovely. It really does sum up my little Freddie being like this really calm, biggest brother of our three. But if it's just too popular for you, or somebody has nabbed it like I did, um, then how about the name Wilfred? I love Wilfred so much, and it's one of those like vintage, cool names that is just starting to come back. I mentioned it last week when I did baby names baby names about to get super popular and this is one of them it is a brilliant name it's only number 183 at the moment so it's a much more unique choice than freddie but obviously he could go by freddie or he could go by will and it means desiring peace which i think is a gorgeous gorgeous very modern name meaning as well but if even wilfred is too popular of a choice for you how about the name wilbur yeah wilbur to me just sounds absolutely adorable like this cutest little boy and it would suit a baby a teenager and a great enough as well. It's only at number 571 so it's much further down in terms of popularity making it much more of a daring choice I know because you might be one of the first to use this name but I do think it is a great one and it means brilliant which is such a cool meaning. And last up is the gorgeous name Isabella which is beautiful but so so popular because it is long, elegant, timeless, beautiful but it's at number six so you're definitely going to know an Isabella I bet if you've got a few friends of kids or you're already in the school system there's loads of Isabellas because it is just gorgeous but if you're looking for something a little bit more different how about Liliana? 
Liliana it's got the same lovely sounds it's very lyrical it's long and gorgeous and elegant the same as Isabella but it's much more unusual it's only at number 170 so it's much further down it's a derivative from Lily so it's got that nice floral meaning to it as well and it means purity for that reason so I do think it's a gorgeous one and this is the one I'm leaving for you next how would you take Isabella Liliana and do a more daring version of have a go and pop it in the comments below and I will be hearting all of my favorite ones so these are all the names and then some of the daring alternatives that I came up with I can't wait to hear what you come up with and don't forget to head on over to Bex's channel to check out her name alternatives subscribe when you are there tell her I sent you and share the love <laughs> and I will see you all next week don't forget to subscribe send this to a friend you think might like it as well and I'll see you all later on in the week bye guys